Hey guys, Jake here, and I want to talk to you today about COVID-19. I've done a lot of posting over the last, feels like two years about COVID-19. I don't think I've done any videos on it, so this will probably be a first. Looking forward to hearing what you guys think. Um, before I talk about COVID-19, I got to go into a little history lesson. Uh, disclaimer, I am just a history fanatic, I guess. You know, it's a real story of humankind and earth, all that fun jazz. But I, I never went to college for history, and I failed American history the first time. Not because I didn't understand the work, because I just didn't do the work. Anyways, uh, World War II. We're going back to World War II. World War II ended. Great times across Europe, across the United States. Not so much in Japan um, in Germany. But, you know, a lot of our uh, modern-day countries today, back then, were having awesome times a lot of love making going on when those boys came back home for more I mean a lot and it didn't just stop after one year like these people were horny as F anyways so you know they ended up popping out a lot of children long story short because they didn't have the birth control like we do today so when you had sex there was a chance you were gonna have another kid so that turned into what we call today the baby boomers that's right it's about if i got my math right probably it's safe to say about 1946 1947 the baby boomers came to be they started populating the country and they kept populating and they kept populating it's actually known today as one of the world's biggest uh generations not just here in the united states either other countries as well okay so now we got this huge uh huge population of young young adults going into the world about 20 years later and you got to think about what the jobs were around that time uh, especially for uh, high school dropouts which was very common you could actually drop out of high school in the early stages of the baby boomer era and be very successful in life but your job opportunities they were limited uh, we had the mills textile mills uh, coal mines construction we had a lot of jobs that have a lot of uh had a lot of hazards and one thing that wasn't taken very serious especially around those times is um safety workplace safety so you know we got these guys they're just breathing in all this toxic fumes um you know and, and they're fine with it you know they're, they're they're a tough old bunch so it doesn't really bother them um then we also have the, the 70s the 70s are coming up next i don't think I really need to talk too much about the 70s. Everybody knows the stories about the 70s, not that everybody indulge, but so you got that. Uh, another thing you also have is smoking the cigarettes. Yeah, you know, for some reason back then marijuana was evil, but smoking the cigarettes, everybody was smoking the cigarettes. And we find out that smoking the cigarettes is not too good for you. But by then, we got the world's biggest generation hooked on uh, smoking cigarettes, tobacco. I said cigarettes way too much, I realized that. But what I'm getting at is the baby boomers are turning 80 in four more years. And now we got COVID-19, uh, respiratory virus. I believe I said that right. I'm a history buff, not a medical nerd. But we got this virus that's just decimating the baby boomers right now. And, it, and it's tragic. It's, it's, it's awful. But the baby boomers are hitting 80 in four more years, five more years. And they'll be hitting, eight, you know, they'll just keep going and going and going. And, I, and I'm not trying to be that guy that has to tell you the bad news, but, you know, coming to the end it's, it's not easy it is scary it's scary for everyone it's scary for them it's scary for their kids it's scary for their grandchildren and you know I'm not trying to downplay the severity of COVID-19 it's awful it, it's done a lot of harm in families and lives business job opportunities professions that people have been working in for numerous of years it's destroyed us 
And it's all because of fear has taken over. Now, I know COVID-19 doesn't just kill the baby boomers. I understand that. But there's a good chance that if you're younger, younger and healthier, then I believe it's even the age 60, you're going to beat this. You know, you're going to beat this. And what's really got me irked is this COVID-19 virus vaccine mandates that you see going around. Like, you need to have this vaccine or you're going to be uh, fired. You're not going to be allowed to come to certain events. Um, you'll be restricted. You know, there is a chance we might have to show proof that we have our vaccinations. Now, everyone's like, well, but vaccines are good. Vaccines are great. Look at look at how vaccines have saved lives. Yes, vaccines have saved lots of lives. Um, vaccines were really intended not to save the lives of the parents and the grandparents, but to save the lives of the children. Now we got a vaccine that's really hampering the lives of our children. Now we have a vaccine that is pushing us into fear when it should be pushing us into comfort. You know, and it's not getting better. You know, COVID's still here. It's, it's, it's gonna be here, guys. Um, I just went over that brief history of why baby boomers have bad lungs. I can tell you what my generation is going to die from. It's going to be from diabetes and heart failure. We are a bunch of fat effers. And I know that. Like, I get that. We are fat. We were the first fat kids to grow up in this country. And kids, you're still getting fat. Like, we're going to be a bunch of fat asses. We're not even going to make it to 80 if we don't change. And COVID is it's making us fatter. It really is. I mean, we are fatter. Most of us are fatter because of COVID, not skinnier. Not everybody friggin' made a home gym and lost 50 pounds. A lot of people gained 50 pounds because they had to isolate themselves. So it's, are we doing more harm or good here, folks? I get it. I don't want to say goodbye to people I love from the baby boomer generation. I don't. And this isn't sacrificing them off. Stop thinking it's like a sacrifice. It's the process of life. You know, the only ones that are losing out are the children. And yeah, I know. Think of the children. No, no, for real. Think of the children. You know? Think about... It's their world. It's not ours. It's not the baby boomers. It's the children's world. What kind of world do you want to leave them? So all I got to say, I was kind of all over the place. But uh, thank you for watching.